Welcome to Healthcare Data Analytics, Secondary Use of Clinical Data. This is Lecture A. The component, Healthcare Data Analytics, covers the topic of healthcare data analytics, which applies the use of data, statistical and quantitative analysis, and explanatory and predictive models to drive decisions and actions in healthcare. The objectives for this unit, Secondary Use of Clinical Data, are to Describe the secondary uses or reuses of clinical data, including, but not limited to, the electronic health record, or EHR. Discuss the limitations and challenges of reusing clinical data. And conduct a data reuse analysis for healthcare quality measurement utilizing a sample data set. In this lecture, we'll see that there are many opportunities for the so-called secondary use or reuse of clinical data. By reuse, we mean making use of patient data beyond its primary use of documenting care that's delivered. These secondary uses were first enumerated in a white paper from the American Medical Informatics Association in 2007. These opportunities, which we will explore in detail in the following slides, are using data to improve healthcare delivery, healthcare quality measurement and improvement, clinical and translational research, public health surveillance, and implementing the learning health system. Let's begin by talking about the use of data to improve healthcare delivery. There is a growing shift in how healthcare is paid for in the United States. We're moving from payment for volume, that is, for doing things paid for by fee for service, to value, where there is reward for improved outcomes or efficiency. As this happens, healthcare organizations need to manage their information better to provide better care and maximize their reimbursement. One approach that can be used is predictive analytics, where we use data to anticipate potential poor outcomes for patients or increased resource use. One area where this has been applied is the problem of early hospital readmission. However, there are many other areas where we can use data to improve care. In addition, as we move into the new era of precision medicine, having access to data to more precisely make diagnoses and prescribe treatments will be a requirement. Another area where we may reuse clinical data is in efforts to measure and improve the quality of care that's delivered in the United States and elsewhere. Quality measures are increasingly used in an effort to make healthcare delivery more accountable. The record for improving quality is somewhat mixed, as some quality measures have been found to be associated with improved patient outcomes in some instances, but not in others. There is a desire to derive quality measures from EHR data automatically. In other words, without requiring manual extraction or modification. This has proved challenging with current systems for a variety of reasons. An additional area where we may reuse clinical data is in clinical and translational research. This has been led in part by the activities of the National Institutes of Health, or NIH's, Clinical and Translational Science Award, or CTSA program which has led many institutions to develop clinical data repositories to facilitate research. Another effort has been the Electronic Medical Records and Genomics, or eMERGE, network, which attempts to associate genotypes and phenotypes. The network has used EHR data to identify phenotypes, such as diseases, that are associated with genomic variants. This has been done successfully for a number of diseases. Another area of reuse of clinical data for clinical and translational research has been the replication of clinical studies. Analyses have shown that the results of randomized controlled trials, or RCTs, can be replicated. A couple of analyses looked at the results of the Women's Health Initiative RCTs and were able to replicate the results through the analysis of clinical data in EHRs and other sources. There have also been replications of other studies of cardiovascular disease, as well as those demonstrating the value of statin drugs in primary prevention of coronary heart disease. There has also been replication of observational studies, such as a study looking at the drug metformin and its association with a reduced cancer mortality rate in patients with diabetes mellitus. The reuse of clinical data has also been applied in public health, in particular in the area of syndromic surveillance, where we aim to use data sources for early detection of public health threats from sources such as bioterrorism and emergent diseases. This interest increased after the attacks of September 11, 2001. One ongoing effort has been Google Flu Trends, where the ability to predict outbreaks of the flu has been associated with the queries that individuals type into the Google search engine. 
At the beginning of flu outbreaks, there tends to be increased queries about different symptoms and treatments related to the flu. Unfortunately, while search terms entered can predict the uptick of the flu in the population, there is not sufficient time for early intervention. In recent years, performance of the Google Flu Trends algorithm has been poorer. However, this secondary use of data may find other value in the future. Bringing this all together is the notion of the learning health system, where the healthcare system learns from data that we collect, measure, and analyze. This figure from the Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT shows the various uses of clinical data. The system begins with measures on individuals, typically quality measures. The system then extends those measures to the population for public health, thus enabling clinical research to increase our understanding of what works and what does not. We start to close this loop by producing clinical guidelines that inform public health policy and can be implemented in clinical decision support and feedback to the patient. This concludes Lecture A of Secondary Use of Clinical Data. In summarizing this lecture, we saw that there are many potential secondary uses or reuses of clinical data, especially data that comes from the electronic health record. Such data can be used to improve care delivery, quality measurement and improvement, clinical and translational research, and public health surveillance. It also has the potential to all come together in the learning health system.